me and that's the best thing. You want to talk about my pants? This is what we're dealing with. Why do I love to get on the ground? Because I can. These are my snow pants and underneath them I have some really good insulation. I've got my boots, my uh, eight inches and a couple of layers of socks. So that's what I'm wearing. No shorts for me today. Of course, we'll work on the ruler and those dendrite crystal snowflakes coming up a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> and like that's it. a great hurdler stretch too, Justin, by the way. Love you like that? Pants. Yes. You gotta <laughs> work on the knee. You don't want to stretch the knee no. too far. No, it's bad. Thank you, Justin. Okay. We'll be right back. This is the InstaWeather visible satellite imagery. You can almost see an eye to this storm. These storms, when they really get cranked up, can be called winter hurricanes, if you will. I mean, they're not put together the same way, but they have the same basic effect pounding the shoreline with gusty winds higher than normal surf uh, the flooding conditions are possible there beach erosion and then they throw that atlantic moisture into the cold air and that's where we result with the very heavy snows falling across us if you look down into the carolinas see these this white patch here doesn't move this stuff moves away that's the cloud moving away that white patch there stays still that's the snow on the ground down in the carolinas all the way down into south carolina they had heavy snow in myrtle beach this morning imagine if you had a, a golf vacation plan for the middle of january you thought you were going to get away from it all Forget it. They had heavy snow down in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, earlier this morning. The extent of the snow now extends from all the way up in New England, down the coast, and into southeastern Virginia. And I just looked at the 2 o'clock observation from BWI. If you have a flight out of there, not good news. Still moderate snow. Half a mile visibility at BWI. A wind chill of 4. The air temperature is 26. Heavy snow at Andrews Air Force Base, where the winds are gusting to 40. And the wind chill at Andrews Air Force Base now 6 below zero. So we're still getting pounded with the very heavy snow. Here at the Weather Center, we've had a wind gust of 47 miles an hour. And we've had a bunch of snow, too. And here again is the lack of reports on the eastern shore. So we're going to hope you give us a call and tell us how much you have in the backyard. Take a couple different measurements. And remember, you might have some of that old snow left over from the last storm. So when you hear the crunch underneath, you know you hit the bottom of the fresh snow. Or hopefully you have a nice clean area on the deck that isn't disturbed yet. And you can take a couple samples there. We've got 8 inches out in the backyard here at the TV station. 7 up at Cockeysville. 8.2 at Finksburg. 7.3 in the backyard out in Ellicott City. There's Annapolis with 11 and a half inches. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Justin was just out building the WBAL InstaWeather Snowman. And at the same time, he, uh, <laughs> he chirped in with a nine and a half inch snowfall total now here. So we can update that as we speak here in the northwest part of the city. I'm trying to click over here and let's see if it'll hit that space bar there for me. There you go. Thank you very much, Justin. There we go. We're advancing our InstaWeather future cast to 8 o'clock in this Yellow and orange shaded area shows the moderate to heavy snows leaving us up onto the upper part of the eastern shore into Cecil County. That's by 8 o'clock, but still plenty of green back to the west. This is the lighter snows that will continue to fall into the evening. So the evening, if there's going to be a rush hour, there weren't a whole lot of cars out there when I was coming in. If there's going to be an evening rush hour, it will be slow as well with the snow continuing to fall. Then it finally starts to lift farther out to the northeast by midnight tonight. Gray shaded area shows a good deal of cloudiness left over with cold air and still some moisture around, we're probably going to have at least some flurries in the air going right into tomorrow morning. But the accumulating snows should be over by about midnight or so tonight. And then as we head into Thursday, things will start to wind down a bit. So here's your kind of planner. If you're thinking about when can you think about actually getting out and doing something, forget it through about 8 o'clock. The snow will be moderate to heavy going right through the early evening. Temperatures slowly dropping back a bit. 10 to 15 inches of snow on the ground by 11 tonight as we taper off to flurries. As we mentioned, we're close to a foot in many locations down in Anne Arundel County. We've got nine and a half inches here at the station, so 10 to 15 certainly seems like a fairly easy target for us. And the wider scale view of InstaWeather Futurecast definitely shows this system as it tracks off to the northeast, and then colder air starts to come in behind it. Guys, we're watching the storm. It's a big one, no doubt about it. It is a huge one. Of course, all day long, ever since this morning, flights have been delayed and canceled out at BWI. Many, many disappointed travelers. BWI has been virtually shut down today. Yeah, and, and that list seems to be growing. Right now, we have a, an updated list of airlines that have canceled their flights at BWI today. So they are not flying the following airlines. United, Continental, Northwest, American, and you can add Southwest to that list. Just getting the snow out of the way, and we'll worry about salt and sand later. Is that correct? Well, we are putting some salt down, but the main thing is, is you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the snow is coming so fast, and it's, it, it is blowing out there, and it is recovering the roads very quickly. So um, we'd, just be, we'd just be pulling the salt out of the way if we kept putting a lot of salt down right now. Right. So we're doing the major roads, and we'll be, if people, uh, we ask people to be patient because we will be getting into side streets after this is uh, over with, but right now we have to keep the major arteries open. That was my next question. I know that many of us just trying to get here to TV Hill today uh, were very 
we can't you know say enough about the Baltimore City Department of Public Works and our State Highway Administration for acting so quickly and removing the snow and allowing us to get into work as well as emergency uh, services folk but people are going to ask the question how long will it be before the side streets uh, are clear because at some point whatever the situation is like on whatever the situation is on the road you're going to be required to get into work I any idea how long it'll be well we'll be, we'll be working around the clock I mean uh, we will be going into the side streets as soon as uh, this storm stops and we get uh, the, the, the snow off the major roads I mean that's for emergency vehicles of course you have to keep those major roads open um, of course what really helps us out is that people do pay attention to the fact that we are into the phase two of the snow emergency plan uh, you have to have snow tires all-weather radials, chains, and don't park on the snow emergency routes. And that's very important to help our drivers out.